Finch is actually a uh, a smartphone case. It's it's uh, exclusively uh, designed for the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. Uh, currently, it's in its prototype phase, so this is all 3D printed. Everything that you see here, um, and what we've been working with with is essentially transitioning the user from the traditional 2D experience uh, to the VR and to the 3D experience when necessary. And when you look at kind of transitioning from, uh, from 2D to VR, it's really kind of a simple swivel that gets you kind of to that uh, particular uh, kind of position. Currently this is, this is a test unit which doesn't have all the kind of covered interiors. Um, so what we're working on right now is getting uh, more kind of flexible uh, and um, uh, comfortable materials on the face, obviously that aren't as rigid as PLA plastic that's used in 3D printers, right? So what, what, what typically happens is, is now when, when we're in the VR experience, um, we can kind of expand the, uh, the field of view. Kind of tactile uh, feedback here with two cursors as they move. Do you guys see that? Yeah. Okay, so what I can do is I can just kind of pinch uh, the kind of orientation screen and what you'll see is a, a simple kind of AR demo of a shark kind of swimming through Sorry, it's a killer whale swimming through the room. And again, we're just kind of utilizing the rear-facing camera um, and a lot of uh, the functionality from the AMA co-processor. Uh, so at the home screen, I can see all my applications kind of opened up right in front of me. So as I kind of tilt my head, I have uh, everything kind of displayed in almost like a ripple fashion. So um, I have a full-size keyboard available at the bottom, and I also have my controls. You can essentially just kind of click through the interface and this is just a sample kind of social media, Facebook kind of um, uh, interface that I can kind of interact with. So I have obviously my profile screen, I have uh, my feed, I have uh, messages, uh, and again, just utilizing kind of basic gestures, I can kind of scroll through different things. And again, if I wanted to go home, what you'll be able to see is kind of this, this whole concept of spatial computing, mm -hmm. uh, the ability to kind of utilize depth and kind of go into applications and go out of. So this is really kind of what we find exciting about the platform is kind of utilizing an unlimited canvas to kind of work with the applications that you want. Um, and again, I can go into a simple drawing application. So this is just really kind of a teaser. There aren't any real applications that we've built uh, yet, but again, these are all kind of demonstrations that kind of give you guys the um, idea of what's uh, possible. Uh, let's say going into another interface, so I can just kind of take a look at a shoe, for example. And, uh, you know, if I want, I can, uh, you know, rotate the shoe. I can uh, pinch and zoom if I want. So all the standard kind of uh, multi-touch gestures that you're accustomed to, you can utilize with this kind of um, uh, two pincher interface. Two apps that are going to be shipping, obviously, are going to be the uh, the browser and the video viewer. Mm -hmm. uh, we're also going to be working with retailers to bring uh, the pinch shops and, and the virtual storefronts uh, to the platform as well. So those are really kind of the three key applications. Everything else is kind of a demonstration at this point. Um, so again, this is uh, just a simple view of a, of a condo. This is great for an application like uh, you know an Airbnb or or some sort of uh, visualization for for new condo developments or mm -hmm. or whatever. So I can kind of uh, customize this if I want, kind of change the decor, uh, and uh, again just kind of super uh, straightforward. Um, what else can we show you guys? There's um, there's also kind of a photo viewer that we can go through. So something that you know I can. You know, scroll, I can move up and down, I can select an image, 